Your marriage is an act of faith. It can't be based on the vain hope of what the other will or will not do, might or might not become. It must be based on the firm belief in your own individual worth and that of the other. It's only in a marriage put together by God himself that you will find this kind of love for which you have both longed. Love you and we're glad to have you a part of the family. We don't feel like in any way that we're losing a daughter. We feel like we're, we're picking up a son. So you know that already, right? David, we take Chelsea to be your wedded wife to live together after God's holy ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony. Will you love her, comfort her, honor her, keep her in sickness and in health? Forsaking all others, keeping yourself only unto her so long as you both shall live. If so, answer, I will. I will. In a world of fast and disposable everything, while where we want everything now and when we're done with it, we just dispose of it, marriage is not one of those things. Marriage is a covenant, a covenant between the two of you and God himself. And covenants are not to be broken. It is such an honor and a blessing to be with my sweet little girl. I can't believe that you're already married. It just seems like a blink has gone by. Boom! My goodness gracious. Oh, that's gorgeous. That's so pretty. I shall see take you, David. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. And in sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. Today is just the formalities of it all. We've loved you for a long time, right? You've been a part of this family, you know, for, for a long time. We're very thankful uh, that you guys finally, you know, got around to it, to, to finally put a ring on it, right? This wedding may not look exactly as you both had hoped, but God has given you the opportunity to view marriage in a new set of lenses. Those lenses are showing you that the only people that matter today are the two of you. For as much as Chelsea and David have consented together in holy matrimony and have witnessed the same by the pledges and vows they've spoken in the rings exchanged, I pronounce they are husband and wife.
David, you may kiss your bride.